Welcome whiskey aficionados to review 105. So uh, yeah, 105, we're moving along. I'm just back a couple of days now from the uh, Dramfest Festival in Christchurch. Um, pretty amazing effort really from whiskey galore because you talk to people that have come from overseas, you know, they've come from Scotland, they've come from the United States, they've come from Taiwan. Um, I, I always thought that the, the Whiskey Galore event was pretty, pretty good, but um, my understanding is it's actually one of the best in the world. So if you can get down to Christchurch in a couple of years time, start saving your pennies now because it is absolutely worth trying to uh, attend. Fantastic, fantastic event. I'll try and do a little video montage of it, but I just haven't got it, got it together yet. Anyway, review 105. Um, something a little bit different, you don't see it all the time, and that is um, the Tom & Tool 25-year-old whiskey, single malt. It's at 40%, and it's known as the, the Gentle Dram. So, <clears throat> the whiskey itself, the distillery, sits in the Glenlivet estate. Um, it's not a Glenlivet whiskey, it's a Tom & Tool distillery, but the distillery is sitting in the Glenlivet estate in the Speyside region, um, near the town of Tom & Tool, funny enough. And um, it was built in 1964, and uh, yeah, as I say, the gentle dram, so let's, let's find out. Matured for 25 years in an ex-bourbon cask. So 25 years is really, really getting up there, and you're going to pay a pretty penny um, you know, for something like this. And I, I, I do think attitudes um, towards aging of whiskey is slightly changing because of the increase of no age statement whiskies. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of new stuff coming out. And, you know, 25 years doesn't make it good. No, not necessarily. Um, because, you know, it has to be put into the barrel, the right barrel for a certain length of time. It has to be picked at a certain you know, you have to select it. So it's all to do with the skill of, I guess, the people that are, you know, maturing the whiskey, making the initial whiskey and the cut, but also selecting the right barrels. So there's a bit of a science, I guess. Um, and we'll talk about value for money after. On the nose, it's bright. You know, it's fresh, it's rich. You, you, you'd initially think with that sort of, it's, it's quite a, quite a powerful, quite a powerful nose. Um, you, you'd sort of feel it was stronger, stronger than the 40% that it is. It does sort of mellow out, but um, yeah, it's caramel sweet. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Yeah, okay. It is gentle. You know, it's it's a gentle light. That reminds me again of a triple distilled light Irish dram. Um, because it, it, it does have that sort of very, very gentle light palate feel. There's a floralness, sweet honey, and just that, oh, marginal little easy hint of spice, might be cinnamon, something like that. That's uh, really, really nice. It's a very, very pleasant whiskey. Like a, maybe a little bit of marmalade uh, with dark chocolate because you get that sweetness and bitterness and you get that sort of dark chocolate-ish type of uh, note coming through. It is a very soft, soft whiskey. On the finish, You still got that sweetness happening all along. You've got that sweet, sweet mouthfeel. Um, it's a medium finish. There's hardly any spice in here at all. Maybe just a just a, a little bit. Um, and it does stay around a little bit, but I'd say a medium sort of finish. Overall, I'm looking around 81, 82 out of 100. I think maybe maybe 81. Let's 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 go 81 out of 100. Um, Maybe maybe a poor reflection on the whiskey. The whiskey is, I don't know, maybe a little bit better than that, slightly better than that. It is it is a very, very um, fine-featured type of whiskey, okay? 
Um, but value for money, well, well, no. Um, <laughs> bottle of this stuff you know you're up around four or five hundred New Zealand dollars for a bottle and really man you can buy one heck of a whiskey for that in fact you can buy uh, two phenomenal bottles of whiskey for that so I would say the the ABV at 40% lets it down a little bit if it was up around 50 or 48 maybe that might improve things quite dramatically um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's one for those who have maybe slightly deeper pockets. It's not something I would drink or not something I would keep on the shelf necessarily. But a decent whiskey, in fact, a very, very, very good whiskey. Fine featured, gentle, smooth, easy to drink. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, share the video and comment on the video. And uh, until next time, cilantro.